Hello, my eighth grade math students. Hope you're all doing well. Um, today, we're going to take a day to review um, how to graph linear equations. All right, so if you look up here at the top, it says y equals mx plus b. That's what we practiced in unit 5 over and over and over again. And sliding down in the notes, slope intercept form, that's what we were just saying, y equals mx plus b. And now if you can think back and remember, our m always stands for our slope. The B is always your Y intercept. And this right here, the Y intercept, whatever number that is, that is always, always where you start your line for your graph. Okay, so whatever this is, that's where you'll put your pencil on the y axis. That's where you will always start. Some point along here is where you will start your linear equation when it's y equals mx plus b. Okay, and some different things that you'll be seeing when we when we uh, graph these, we'll have slanted lines, whether they're going this way, which would be a positive slope or maybe they're going this way that would be a negative slope all right we have horizontal lines if you have a horizontal line the only equation you will have is y equals a number okay you won't have any mx you'll only have y equals a number if you have a vertical line this was horizontal. If you have a vertical line, you're not going to have y equals mx plus b. This one means only that it will be your x equals a number. All right, and so then you cut the x-axis in half at whatever number that is. Okay, so say this was our graph, our y-axis, our x-axis. This would be probably, this equation would be probably something like y equals a negative will go 4 approximately. So we cut it at the negative 4, cut the x-axis in half. So x will always equal a negative 4 with a vertical line. Going down here. Let's just do a couple of these to practice again. All right, so if we have y equals mx plus b, what is our slope in this equation? m equals negative 2. So we're going to have a negative slope. Our line is going to be going in the negative direction, somewhere like that on our graph. Our y-intercept, where would we start it? Where's our b? At the positive 6. So we would start at the positive 6 on the y-axis. y equals mx plus b. What's my m? My slope is a 4. Positive slope of 4, so our line would be slanted going in that direction. We would start it on the graph at the y-intercept, the b of a negative 1. So you would find on the y-axis, you would find the negative 1 and start your graph there. Now here we just talked about this up above, y equals a number. So we have y equals, we don't have any mx, but we have our b, y equals 7. So we would start our graph at the 7 up here. But there's no slope, because there's nothing with the x. We don't write 0x, we don't write the ox in there like we teased uh, during the classroom time. All right, so our slope is 0. It's not none, it's 0. It has a 0 flat slope. So this would be a horizontal line. That's what that y equals 7 would look like. Now in here, y equals mx plus b, so our x, our What's with our x? Our slope is 1 half, a positive 1 half. All right, so our graph is going to be going slanted, something like in that direction. Okay, it's going to be flatter than, than if it was a whole number 4, like this one would be a little bit steeper. 
All right, where would we start this one at the graph? On the graph, we would start this one, y equals mx plus b, b is a negative five, our y-intercept would be down here at a negative five. All right, and our, our graph would go something like that because it's a positive graph starting at the negative five. Right, two, up one. And the last one, ooh, now we don't have any y at all. y equals mx plus b. We don't even have a y. Look at, there's nothing. y is not even there. So in this case, it is undefined. And then our, um, our y-intercept, the b, is there one? No, there isn't one, none. So x equals two, what would that look like on a graph? Here's your graph. On the x-axis, you would find the positive two, what would be approximately right there, and they have a vertical line going like this. That would be, because this is the positive two on your x-axis. So a little refresher from unit five. So let's take that knowledge again, and let's just practice graphing a few of these linear equations. Again, on this assignment, when you do the worksheet next, if all your graphs do not make a line, a straight line, you did something wrong, okay? They have to either be a slanted line, a horizontal line, or a vertical line. And if they're not, you did something wrong. All right, so let's look over here. Y equals mx plus b. Well, what's our m? What's with our x? A positive 2. What's my y-intercept? My b? There isn't any. We don't write plus 0, so in this case it's plus 0, but it, we know it, it's there. It's a 0. Remember now, again, we always start our graph out on our y-intercept. So you find your y. Here's your y and you find the zero, also known as your, ah, it's almost like I heard you through here, the origin, good job, zero, zero. So this one we start on the y-intercept at the zero. Our slope is a positive two, so we know that our graph is gonna be running in a positive direction some sort, okay? It's gonna be positive running that direction, a positive two, that's to make a whole number into a fraction, so positive two over one. Remember we have rise, over run, or you have y over x, you know, your x, your run is your x, you run left or right, well, it's a positive one, so I'm going to go right one, and then my rise, it's a plus two, so I'm going to go up two, so I'll go right one, up two from the my point on the y-intercept, so right one, up two, put a point, right one, up two, right one, up to. The more dots you have, the easier it'll be for you to draw your line when you're using your stylist, or if you don't have a stylist, if you're using your finger. And then if you want to continue the lines, just go backwards instead of right one up to, go left one down to. So you go left one down to. Left one, one, two, down to. Left one, down to. And then you can take your finger stylus and do the best job you can, please, so I can see where this is going through. Especially so I can see your y-intercept. That way if I can see your dots, I can tell if you got your slope right. Because look, at I can tell I went right one up two. Right one up two by my dots. Next one, let's practice this. So if y equals mx plus b, what's with my x? Not zero. We have an assumed... 1. So in our case here, our slope is a 1, a positive 1. Again, it'll be going in the direction, a positive direction, just like this one was up here, because we have a slope. Our slope is a positive 1. What's our y-intercept? Where do we start our graph? y equals mx plus b. We have a negative 8. All right, so let's start our graph on the y-axis. Right here is our y-axis. Find the negative 8. Well, ne positive 8's up here. Negative 8, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, 8, right here. This is where we are all going to be starting our linear equation on this one, down here at the negative 8. Now our slope is a positive 1. 
which is the same as 1 over 1 if you turn it into a fraction. So from this point, you're going to go right 1, up 1, because they're both positive, so right 1, up 1. Right 1, up 1. Right 1, up 1. Right one, up one, and you can keep going, up one. Then you use your stylus or your finger. Oh, that was not a very good one. I'm gonna try that one over again. Oh, Mrs. Lennon. And I'm even using my pen. There we go, alrighty. This e-learning, awesome. So your graphs should all look exactly like that, all right? Uh, let's see, example letter C, y equals a negative x. So we need to find our slope, our m, and our y-intercept, our b. y equals mx plus b. y equals, what's with my x? A negative what? A negative assumed 1. So now our slope is going to be opposite it's a negative so it's going to be running in this direction all right where do we start this one y equals a negative 1x we don't have anything here so we don't we know you don't write plus 0 so we know that our y intercept is 0 it is at the origin again this one so start your graph start your line at the origin and from here let's do our counting what's our slope our slope is a negative 1 which is the same as a negative 1 over 1. So positive 1, that's your run. I'm going to go right 1. And then a negative 1, will I go up or down? A negative is down, so then I'll go down 1. So you'll go right 1, down 1. Right 1, down 1, and so on. The more dots, the easier it will be for you to draw. Or if you wanted to go backwards, we can, instead of going right 1, down 1, instead of right 1, down one, we could do opposite and go left one and then up one. So left one, up one, left one, up one. That continues our pattern. And you take your stylus or whatever it is, whoops, sorry about that, whatever it is that you have, and do your best at drawing your line. Now, is that correct when I leave my line like that? No. This goes on indefinitely all right so you need to have your arrows at the end of your line just like i did up here and here in order for it it's a, it represents that whole linear equation so all of those answers are going to work on that so any ordered pair along here is a solution and would work so y equals a negative whatever our x is. So let's just pick here. What is this one? 1, 2, and negative 2. 2 and negative 2. x, y. So if I put 2 in for my x, put negative 2 in for my y, negative 2 equals a negative times a 2 is a negative 2. So any point along that line is a solution to that equation. All right. We better go over this one, letter D. Y equals a negative 7. When it's a letter all by itself, Y equals a negative 7. You go to the Y axis, you find the negative 7, and you cut it in half at the negative 7. What kind of a slope does that have? That has a zero slope. It's not going anywhere. What is the y-intercept? Well, they tell us right here, it's a negative 7. And then if you ever see any of this, f of x, f of x is always the same as y. So y equals 1 third x plus 4. Our slope, 1 third. Our y-intercept, where do we start our graph? At the positive 4. So let's go to the graph on the y. Whereabouts do I want to start here? I want to start at the positive 4. All right, I got my dot. Now I can start my pattern. Here, 1 third. I go right 3, up 1. So right 3, 1, 2, 3, up 1, put a point. Right 3, 1, 2, 3, up 1, put a point. 
Or you can go backwards instead of right three, up one, I can go left three, down one. Left three, one, two, three, down one. Left three, one, two, three, down one. And again, then this makes it a little bit easier for you to connect the dots and draw your line. So we have a positive slope, good. Our graph's going in a positive direction. Did it start at the positive four? Yep, we did a pretty good job. F, okay, now we just have a letter equaling a number. So we go to the x-axis in this case, because up here they gave us, we gave you the y. y all by itself is just a number. So if x all by itself is just a number, here's our x-axis. Where's the six on the x-axis? Right there. So then we cut the x-axis in half right there at the six. Now our x is always a six. So what is our slope? Ooh, this one does not have a slope. It is undefined. What is the B? What's the y-intercept? What's the y-intercept on this one? It's not zero. It is none because it never crosses the y-axis. So there isn't. it doesn't intercept it ever. So it doesn't have one. None. Um, I'll just go through these next couple real quick. I think we've kind of covered everything. So um, if you want to just watch real quick, I'll go through these quickly. G, y equals mx minus 5. So 1 fifth is my slope. It's positive. I start my graph at the negative 5. So y, negative 5. Got my point on my y-axis because this is where I start. Okay, now what pattern do I follow? Positive 1 fifth. So my graph is going to be running in a positive direction, this way, slanted line, and I'm going to go right 5, up 1, right 5, up 1, right 5, up 1. Go back to where we started, and let's extend our line in the opposite way. Let's go left 5, down 1, left 5, down 1. Now we can make our graph look just like that. That is y equals 1 fifth x minus 5. Any point along this, I could use that ordered pair and it would make this balance. In the last one, y equals a negative 3 fourths x. Well, remember, we don't write plus 0, but now I know that I'm starting this at a 0. My y intercept is at the origin, 0, 0. What's my slope? A negative 3 fourths. It's going to be a slanted line running in the negative direction. All right? So make sure that your graph when you're done on this one is in a negative direction. What's my pattern? If I have a negative 3 over 4, that means I'm going to go right 4. Negative 3 means down 3. So you can go right 4, down 3. Or maybe you like to go down 3, right 4 first. That You still get to the same spot. Right 4. Down three. One, two, three. Right four. Two, three, four. Down three. One, two, three. Now let's go backwards. Let's go left four, up three. Left four. One, two, three, four, up three. And you can use your pencil and voila, we're done. All right. Now, as you can see, mine are pretty good. I have a pen. Please take your time when you do your worksheet so I can see where you're starting your graph on the y-axis. Make sure that I can see what points that you're going through. Okay? Um, that should do it. So, all right, that's it for slope-intercept form. That's our review. Now you need to do your worksheet that goes along.